Dawa kunten tugo Dawa pemi mare Dawa kunten tugo Dawa pemi mare Dawa kunten tugo Che Students for a Free Tibet works in solidarity with the Tibetan people in their struggle for freedom and independence. We are a chapter-based network of young people and activists around the world. Through education, grassroots organizing, and non-violent direct action, we campaign for Tibetans' fundamental right to political freedom. Shame on China! Shame on China! China has Our role is to empower and train youth as leaders in the worldwide movement for social justice. Students and young people have been at the forefront on movements for social justice throughout history. Founded on this knowledge, Students for Free Tibet was created in 1994 to give a voice to the growing number of youth interested in the Tibetan struggle. From our humble beginnings to today, Students for a Free Tibet has grown to over 650 chapters on college and high school campuses around the world. From Brazil to Nigeria, Sydney to New Delhi, students have joined hands with the Tibetan people in their struggle for independence. The Tibetan Freedom Concerts reached thousands of people, and Students for a Free Tibet was the way they could get directly involved. The ripple effect was incredible as a tea chapter started springing up all over the map. I've been asked to speak here today on behalf of Tibetan youth across the world, but most especially on behalf of those Tibetans still inside of Tibet. Perhaps more than ever before, our world needs Tibet. In an age marked by increasing acts of brutality and violence, we need the principles on which this peaceful and compassionate culture is based. And perhaps more than ever before, the Tibetan people need you. They need your energies, they need your talents, they need your hope and your freedom to ensure that they are not forgotten. From benefit concerts, to film screenings, to teach-ins, Students for a Free Tibet members educate their peers and communities about China's occupation of Tibet. Whether working to free political prisoners or stopping environmental destruction in Tibet, Students for a Free Tibet has built a network of skilled and dedicated grassroots organizers that is a force to be reckoned with. Students for a Free Tibet is about action. We have the knowledge and the willingness to use direct action to take the Tibet movement to a new level. We have seen direct action work in so many movements throughout history, from civil rights in the United States to the end of apartheid in South Africa. In his struggle to end slavery, Frederick Douglass said, Power concedes nothing without demand. It never has and never will.
We have history and truth on our side, but taking on the Chinese government is no small task. We have to be creative. We have to be strategic. We have to be good at what we do and have more fun than they do. Students have the energy, the passion, and willingness to take risks, and SFT provides them with the tools to make a difference. At the first Free Tibet Action Camp, I would say it was a vast majority supporters, non-Tibetans, NGs, um, college students who really uh, conceived of themselves as, as activists. It's really, really exciting to see at this, the fourth Free Tibet Action Camp, uh, a significant majority of young Tibetans who have gotten involved, and I, and I think uh, it's really exciting to watch the young people, the next generation, whose movement this is, uh, step into roles of leadership. I'm so happy to see so many Tibetans on this camp too. I think like it's a Tibetan movement and we being Tibetans and being like the younger generation should like support SFT and yeah and do what we feel is right. I think it's uh, uh, a school, a teacher, kind of a role model, someone to lead us someone to show us how to do things right and effectively. Team Canada's trade mission to China is being marred by the detention of three university students from B.C. Two members of a group called Students for a Free Tibet unfurled a banner that said, Free Tibet before free trade. We want trade with China. We just want responsible trade. We want that trade to be conditional on improvements in human rights. Things are changing for Tibet. We've seen unprecedented victories in the past few years. Victories that, just 10 years ago, would have seemed impossible. In 2000, when the World Bank canceled its plans to help China move Chinese settlers into Tibet because of grassroots pressure, we knew we had crossed a new frontier. Nobody ever stops the World Bank or China from getting what they want, but we did. Not only that, we stopped China from raising $7 billion from American investors for a pipeline they were building in Tibet. Students for a Free Tibet was instrumental in freeing Nawang Shopel from prison in Tibet. Nawang was sentenced to 18 years in prison for doing nothing more than trying to preserve Tibetan culture. Because of student and grassroots pressure, he is now free. Whoever said that the Chinese government doesn't care what the world thinks, we're making them care. Despite these incredible victories, the situation in Tibet remains critical, and the work of students for Free Tibet is more important than ever before. Since 1994, Students for a Free Tibet has grown leaps and bounds. But we have yet to realize our full potential. We have to continue to secure the release of Tibetan political prisoners and make China begin to think twice about arresting Tibetans who dare to speak out. In this way, Tibetans inside of Tibet will begin to have enough political space to organize their own public resistance. Yeah.
have to continue to block international financing and support of China's occupation of Tibet. Eventually, we will make the Chinese government realize that occupying Tibet is more costly politically and economically than it is worth. We know Tibet might not be free in the next two or three years, but with your help, we can show the world that Tibetan independence is inevitable. We have seen the impossible happen in South Africa, East Timor, and the former Soviet Union. Like those countries, we know that one day soon, Tibet will be free. Oh,